Um, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> but B Simone was she was on she was on somebody else's podcast. She's on somebody else's podcast, yeah. And they were atheists. One seemed like a shaky atheist, yeah. and one seemed like a hardcore atheist. Yeah. But they were asking her about this. I agree with what that. What do you think um, happens? Um, we die. I believe if you have made a conscious decision to accept Jesus Christ as your savior, you will spend eternity with him. And if not, you okay. will spend eternity away from him. And what does that him. mean? Away from him? Where? I, I believe in hell, okay. but I don't believe, I, I, don't, I don't know if I believe hell is this fiery. Right. I believe mm -hmm. I, your deepest, darkest day on earth times a million mm -hmm. without the existence of God. The furthest mm -hmm. away you could be from God and you would feel that for eternity because you are you get the beautiful thing that God allows is free will. So we have a choice. I either want to spend eternity with you or I don't. We can choose so that. So Jewish people, people who follow Hindus, Buddhists, uh -huh. uh, or people who don't believe in anything, Correct. or people who've never heard of Jesus. Correct. People in the, the deep parts of the globe that Jesus, mm -hmm. you know, Still right. Practicing indigenous. Right, yeah. the indigenous folks yeah. uh, across the globe, not just indigenous here in America. Those folks will burn in hell. I believe that. Or not, do. you said you don't know if it's a fiery place, but right. they, will, they will be in hell at death. The people that have not had the option to, and that, that's biblical, I don't know what verse, don't quote me on this but they will have a chance to accept him mm -hmm. okay. when he comes back so yeah, it's okay. like the entry point of check here if you accept Jesus yeah. if not you go yeah. to a different line and you return to your most awful day yeah and you'll relive that day essentially for eternity, eternity. Mm -hmm. interesting it's just like a, a mother and a child it's like okay you can stay on the streets and live the life that you think you want or you could come into this home where you have food shelter I want to stay on the streets I'm gonna do my I love mm. Oh, okay. So, um, how do you think she did? Now, there's, there's a, this is a very long conversation, and they go yeah, back and forth with her long. about a lot of stuff. It'll be inter I think it's important to know what they really believe because they were throwing some, some crazy things out there. But how do you think she did as, as a Christian in the midst of atheists? How did she defend the faith? I see. So these are atheists. Like, I don't know this. this so podcast. what I can like, gather is the lady on the left seemed hardcore atheist. Yeah, yeah. The lady in the middle. She said she believed in God, but she's probably agnostic. Mm. The middle or the left? The middle. The, the middle. Yeah. She yeah. seemed more like wishy washy. Yeah. Like mm. she said she believes something out there, but she don't. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. So agnostic. Yeah. 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 So what do you think, Maya? Mm. I, I felt the struggle. Like literally as I was listening, I felt the struggle and. And I've been in that place where you're like, I want to tell the truth. I want to make sure it's palatable, where yeah. people can receive it and mm -hmm. not be offended. But I want to tell the truth. And so I feel like she did pretty good. The The part that, and this is the part, of course, that they, of course, repeated. And I think that they kind of ran to for comfort in themselves is that hell is not fiery. No, mm -hmm. hell is excruciating. Hell is mm -hmm. fiery. Like it is not just being apart from God. Like yeah. that is that is included, but it is it is not your worst day. Like yeah, 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 it is not that. And so, like, really, I think it was hard for her to go there. And I don't know if it's because she don't want to believe it herself, yeah. or because she didn't want to offend the people that she was talking to. Yeah, just that that just just on that hell thing. Like, remember, hell was designed for. The devil. the devil and mm -hmm. his angels. Mm -hmm. You are going with them since that's who mm -hmm. you chose. Like it's not like he's specifically trying to burn you to, for the rest of your life. He's trying to burn them, and you sided with them. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's that's the idea there. But um, overall, I think she did pretty good, better than I expected. Her her understanding of it is pretty solid. That it's either you choose to spend eternity with him or without him. Mm -hmm. right. That's essentially, even if you, if you don't understand the, the, what the lake of fire is and all that, that's essentially the choice you have mm -hmm. with him or without him. So I think she laid that out pretty good. The pushback. And I think a lot of people have this pushback. I've heard it for years. I've, I've witnessing the people over and over. This is like a common, mm -hmm. but what about everybody else? Mm -hmm. And I think, and we talked about this recently, it goes back to the idea that aren't we all good? Don't we all deserve to be in heaven? Why no. would he send us there? And it's like, no, 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 no you getting it backwards. We all deserve to mm -hmm. not go to heaven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The fact that he's saving any of us is a miracle. A gift, Why yeah. would he? 
what did you do to deserve to yeah. spend eternity with him when you treat him like trash every day? Yeah, every like that that's that that's the the backwards mindset of people are looking at it as how could he send all of these people to hell when the real answer is how could he send so many people to heaven? Mm-hmm. Why would he? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Why would he treat us any mm-hmm. better than dirt? Yeah. yeah. We don't deserve it. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's that's that I'm a god mentality that has seeped into mm-hmm. our culture for so long. To say that I deserve this. Yes. I don't even believe in him, but if he's there, he better choose me. Uh, it's like, bro. why would he? You just said you don't believe in him. Yeah. You just said you're God. Mm. Any other guy, if, if you stand up and you say, I'm God, you're getting destroyed. Mm. Mm. There are no other gods before him. That's, a, that's talking about this is this week. That is the end of the discussion. <laughs> the battle is over. Yeah. You could try to put all your little diss songs. I'm God. I'm God. You will be destroyed. There are no other gods. So when so this attitude of I deserve it. Yeah. I am a god. I control my own my own destiny. Mm-hmm. Um, do as thou wilt. All this satanic imagery that Satan has been weeding into our mm-hmm. culture since the beginning of time. It's like okay. But what you know what happens to other gods that claim to be higher than me? Yeah. You're going to get destroyed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's it. That I deserve that entitlement. That's like a sneaky one. Cause I think so many of us feel that in different aspects of our life that we don't realize it means we're putting ourselves in the place of God. Like mm-hmm. when we even begin to think that way in any area, mm-hmm. like any area, I deserve a break. I need this. I feel like Okay, God is gracious enough in most cases to give you stuff, you know, but you don't deserve nothing. And right. I think that sneaks in and wiggles its way in in so many different parts of our lives. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, dangerous. I agree. I think um, last week when I wasn't here on the show, I heard you guys, like when I was editing the show, I heard the whole Kanye conversation. Yeah, Didn't know he said all of that. Yeah. Now I'm officially done with Kanye. Um, <laughs> yeah, said did, that several times. No, nah, I didn't know he yes. said all that. I didn't but know he no, said. I'm saying, I you am, said I'm done with Kanye. No, 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 no. Several no. times. This was the this was the straw that just completely <laughs> broke the camel's back. No, no, no. When he said, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm God, this time, this time. I'm God and that, I that run the, the world. You, huh? <laughs> I'm God and I run this world. I was like done. Like, yeah. n- and my only song, the only song that I like from Kanye is "Through the Wire." That's it. Dang. So I'm done with that. That's done a long with time that. Ago. But, yeah. That's it. That's it. I don't go that far back that with Kanye. First song. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. It was. Yeah. I'm just not a. I'm not a hip hop fan like that. I can't. Yeah. Outside of Christian hip hop, I just can't get into like putting that on my playlist or listening to it back that's, and that's forth. That's not like, true. What can't. you're saying, but um, <laughs> no, you know the old school stuff. Come on now. What's he talking about? Old school. You know, I, like, you know what I mean like. Atlanta music. Oh um, man! Yeah. Shout out to Lost and Found, man. Appreciate you joining the membership, <laughs> sir. <laughs> but I, I'll say this real quick. I think at the same time, going with what you were saying, I think that mentality of I'm a good person too is the biggest false me- reality that we yeah. stand. I'm yeah. a good person. I don't do this. I don't do that. When you stand before the Lord, you're not going to stand um, by earthly standards. You're going to stand by His standard. And what his standard of your life is supposed to be about. And I think we 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 go stuff like, you know, man, you, you see headlines of like, yo, um, somebody kill kids or somebody um, uh, like bad stuff in the world. And people are like, yeah, they deserve death. They deserve this. They deserve that. And it's like God looks at everybody's heart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Another, another question. I want to I ask you guys yeah. this question. Another question I get all the time. Why would God allow me to be born? Just to allow me to go to hell. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Why? If, if I was going to go to hell, and, and God is all knowing that He knew I was going to go to hell, why would He allow me to be born in the first place? Why He just don't keep me where I'm at instead of just sending me to a lake of fire He knew I was going to go to? Yeah. That's so you know mm. you know who else asked that question? Paul. Yeah. <laughs> I had a question for you. Remember that? That Paul said the same thing. If 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 you choose who's good and who's bad, then why? Then what's the point of all of this? Mm. Mm. And the answer was. Who are you to question what God does? Yeah. If I make you a trash can, you're a trash can. If I make you a vase, you're a vase. Yeah. yeah. Even if it did work that way, you still have nothing to say. Yeah. But you yeah. don't understand my ways. You have no idea why I chose uh, yeah. Jacob over Esau. You have yeah. no idea what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. To you, it's just I chose this person over that person. Even if it was that way, you have nothing to say in this Swallow whole situation. <laughs> you, are, you are a piece of clay. Wouldn't that person, though, even have the opportunity in that? And, of course, God, God knows what decision we're going to make, ultimately, but... 
the fact that that person has the opportunity to go to heaven. I feel like God allowing them, putting breath in their lungs, gives them the opportunity to go to heaven instead of just being sent directly to hell. I assume they're responding to the idea, of the, the Calvinist idea of mm-hmm. he's already chosen who's saved and who's not. So yeah. he's chosen who's yeah. not. But you ain't God. You don't know. You don't know if he chose you or not. Yeah, My right. thing is, I think God is... God is uh, What's the opposite of uh, Armenia? I think God is reformed. We're not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, that, that's, that's what I, I'm the same thing. God God is Calvinist. He wants us to be Armenian. Mm-hmm. Meaning, like, even, like, that's that's the answer that Paul gave. Yeah. Even if it is that way, yeah. what what is that, what this got to do with you? Yeah. yeah. I could do whatever, I, I don't think y'all understand this. <laughs> I'm God. I could do whatever yes. I want. Yeah. yeah. Right. Y'all feelings have nothing to do with this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. When did y'all think that y'all feelings have any yeah. bearing over what I do? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I indulge y'all feelings, but I don't have to. Yeah. yeah. What are y'all talking about? Yep. So I got a question for you, since we're on the verge of asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> is it is it safer? This is gonna be a bad one, so y'all just bear with me. Is it safer to deal with humility or to deal with not feeling like you are deserving? See what I'm saying? Say that one more time. Is it safer to deal with battling humility than to deal with trying to convince yourself that you are deserving of his love, of his grace, of his mercy? Are you, you saying, saying like you people saying, who struggle people who struggle with feeling like I mean I, I mean you just beat yourself up all the time like I'm not enough, I'm not enough versus somebody who's like, oh man, I'm trying I'm to I'm trying to come out of the hum yeah. Low self esteem is still pride in a certain mm, yeah. Facts. Because you're still just thinking about yourself. Yeah. Yes. Mm. You got to look at something. This is something that God is doing. And take yourself out of the aspect of what I do or how I say is going to determine what God does. Yeah. Like God's going to do what He does. He's giving us an opportunity. He's inviting us into His grand plan. Yeah. Yeah. Now you have choices to make. You can make a choice to go along with His plan or go opposed to His plan. Yeah. And but ultimately, His plan is still going to be fulfilled. Your role in it is going to be based upon the actions that you take to a certain degree. The path you go, the path, the destination gonna be the same. How you get there is pretty mm-hmm. much up to the choices you it, make. Here's the thing: this, this, the audacity of how we think sometimes. And I'm, I'm mm-hmm. including me, and uh, my wife told me to to not sound so judgmental because <laughs> okay, Alfie, <laughs> when I was love you, girl. when I was talking about Kaisenat, it, it, I I think people thought I was angry because at Kaisenat, I was angry at me. Mm-hmm. I was angry at the fact that me and us don't realize how powerful and what God did for us. That's 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 the energy this is. So don't take it wrong. But just the audacity that we even have these thoughts of what about me? What about me? This story has nothing to do with us. We are extras in this play. Yeah. We keep putting ourselves as the main character. He is the main character. We are supporting characters. Even if the play is pre-written and you're playing a part in the play, you can either play it well or you can play it badly. Yeah. You can either be a great actor or a bad actor. <laughs> you still have to participate in it. Right. Yeah. right? You have no idea how the story is going to end. He does. Mm-hmm. So this attitude of I deserve the main part. Mm-hmm. How come I didn't get the role? Yeah. Where's my Where's my Oscar? It's like, what are you? T- this is not about you. You'll be glad you're in this <laughs> month. What are you talking about? Yeah. And it's just like, that's. I just feel like even me when I feel that way, it's like, what are you talking about? This... This has nothing to do with us. Whatever he decides to do, praise God for it. If you're included yeah. or not included, if you find out that everybody had a chance or nobody had a chance, this is not our story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just be excited to be in the building, yeah. bro. Yeah. Hey, if I make it to heaven and I'm sweeping the streets of gold, yeah. like, bro, I'm going to sweep yeah. them up till they sparkle. Yeah. <laughs> I'd Come rather on. be yeah. there than the alternative. Yeah. Know? 